So we have more food shortage issues right now. I will post the link down below. Um, Mississippi, uh, there is over 700 barges that are basically stuck. They got uh, goods like corn, etc. Like I said, you can read all the details about this craziness that continues th this strange, um, these these strange events that continue to occur. Uh, from the uh, Suez Canal, I believe, uh, the uh, tanker, if you guys remember, the big ship that was basically stuck sideways. Then what happened in Baltimore with pipeline, gas shortages up uh, in places like North Carolina, etc. I, I don't know how many... Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you can call it warning signs. This is a red flashing lights. The supply chain is con continuously disrupted, deliberately disrupted. This is what's going on when you have morons running the show all over the place. This is what's been going on. I've been warning about this. I did not know, obviously, that we're gonna go through some kind of pandemic when I started my um, YouTube channel, which was a few months before COVID. But I was saying we have, this is going to be a decade to remember. It will be biblical. So again, none of this is to scare you. Most of you are already prepared for all of this. I talked about having your own food, doing stuff that uh, you can be self-sufficient or as self-sufficient as possible. I am far from being self-sufficient, but at least we have, uh, we started with getting out of Florida, uh, buying a farm, having at least our own eggs. We got, uh, you know, cattle. We have, make our own soap, make our own bread. Uh, right now looking for, you know, beehives, stuff that um, slowly adding, you know, gardening and everything, slowly adding to um, whatever we can. So, like I said, you don't have to rely on going down to your local store and wait for, you know, expect for food to be there. It is just, this is just too weird what's been going on. So, again... All of you understand, if you continue to be complacent in situations like this, uh, you honestly, unfortunately, deserve everything that is coming to you. So continue ignoring, continue making, you know, childish comments on, on Twitter and stuff like that and, and ignore the obvious. And that's all I can say. But most of you who are awake the right way, who understand what is happening, are not laughing at this, you are not also worried about it, you're just kind of moving right along and just taking care of business. That's all we can do. The worst you get stuck with your own food, you get stuck with ammo, you get stuck with gold, physical in your possession is what I've been talking about. Uh, that's the worst case scenario that can happen for you if you are prepared. Which for me, obviously, that is music to my ears, but that's just me. So what I'm doing right now is I'm continuing to, to acquire whatever I can. I'm really focusing on food a lot more uh, than anything else. Um, but I'm constantly in the market. I'm looking to uh, make my entrances, exits, uh, using again. I know I say I sound like a broken record, but using those profits to buy, like I said right now, not as much physical uh, precious metals. It's more food, stuff like that, like livestock. I'm looking to have, you know, a milk cow soon. Uh, that's going to be, um, you know, a big purchase because it's hard to find. Uh, not too many people want to get rid of, uh, you know, a really good milking cow unless you really pay uh, you know through the nose so that's my plan again uh, and that's what I've been doing when it comes to the market I believe this is my own setup my own opinion you do of course your own due diligence before you do anything I always say this think for yourself put two and two together do not ask for obviously um, anyone to give you exact answers that's what you're looking for because it just never happens i go through so many different books so many different channels and and taking bits and pieces from everyone and then applying my own strategy based on what i believe is going to happen so energy a uh, basically oil sector um and gold i think this ratio is where the biggest money is going to be made in this decade and what i'm trying to say by by that is this Yes, there could be, um, you know, 
a sell-off in the market and you'll see some some uh, quality stock like let's say Exxon drops to maybe $40 from 60 you can easily see that which of course would be a beautiful entrance uh, to get in that uh, solid stock that pays really you know good dividend etc but to start setting up this ratio I believe it will make sense so here's the way I see it after doing a lot of research when you look at uh, charts historically 15 to 1 is the magic number, meaning 15 barrels of crude oil compared to one ounce of gold. Now, when it comes to gram of gold, this is also a very interesting one, but today I'm talking about an ounce of gold and, like I said, barrels of crude oil. So right now we're looking at 30 to 1 uh, ratio because a barrel of crude is around uh, $62, $63. And gold is around $1,850, $1,850. So 30 to 1 ratio tells you that gold is very expensive compared to oil. Now, I'm not saying that gold is very expensive overall. What I'm saying is how I'm going to play this ratio is I am looking at it 15 to 1 is where it needs to be. Now, is gold going to $900 per ounce? If crude stays around $60 per barrel, so 15, you know, 60, 60 times 15 would bring 900. I see that the odds of that are slim to none. Why? Because I, I just don't see gold dropping from this level to $900. And that's not because I believe, because I just woke up and I said, oh, I think that's going to happen. It's because I'm watching what's going on with QE to infinity, with um, low to negative real interest rates and if the Fed tries to raise them to try to uh, basically have this inflation uh, slow down in a way so people stop borrowing as much and, and going through all this uh, insane asset uh, purchase bubble that we are witnessing then everything will collapse and this will also be uh, very positive for gold even though outside would not look like this well here where I live most likely it will be but if you're in the city that good luck with that so this is the ratio, like I said, 15 to 1. So I don't see gold going to 900, but I do see crude going to 120, okay? Because right now, oil is still 50% cheaper from its all-time high, as well as silver is, but I'll go into that in a different video. So right now, it is more realistic for me to see a barrel of crude going to 120 because 120 times 15, you get right around this price of 1800 that gold is. So right now, I will be positioning more and more into oil stocks, getting set for this, because I don't see gold dropping that much. I said on my channel two months ago, I don't see 1650 gold for a long time, most likely in your lifetime. And from that point on, this was a pretty good call, I believe, because gold was at 1690 at the time I said that. It dropped to 1680, and then all of a sudden, it just never looked back. Not that it's really way higher than that, but it's slowly now making its move way up towards that all-time high of just under $2,100 that we had back in August. So this is, like I said, the ratio I'm trying to play. I will uh, hold some of my, my top gold stock position just in case gold, gold continues to go up, but I will not load up as much as I was planning on. I will really focus on oil and looking for this um, ratio to normalize at 15 to 1, and that will tell me which asset is cheap, which asset is basically expensive. So right now, that's basically the place of one more time. I don't see gold dropping to 900, but I do see crude oil going to 120. So that is the play, that is the setup. Please, again, do not make any moves based on what I'm telling you. Just go into some deep thinking, deep studying, look into this ratio. This could be, and I hate to say the word could because that's kind of like a cop out. This, in my opinion, will be the biggest trend trade or swing trade in this decade. Take care and God bless you all.